Hello, welcome back to another fabulous video on my channel. I'm Jacob Japes here, and today we are going to be playing the Birth to Death. I'd like to say Birth to Death is very similar to some other series that are going on, such as the Perfect Sim, I think is what it's called. I'll link it down below. I got this idea from Ocean Sims. I just didn't like the rules or anything, and so I changed it, but it kept the similar same concept, and she did a whole series on it. So if you guys want to watch the Sim Be Born from Birth to Death, uh, that's a way to do it. I, I have not watched it, so I'm not really sure how she played around with it as well. I know that her series was based off a French Simmer YouTuber, and that's where the idea came from, I think, if I'm not mistaken. The idea of this, we're going to follow a Sim from Birth to Death. We're only focusing on this one Sim from the moment that she is born. It's a girl. From the moment she is born to the moment that she dies. No other Sim we're going to run off with. We're not going to do... Like, we're not going, like, we're going to try to develop some other sims and stuff, but they're not the main point. Once she dies, the series is over. Like, that's it. She dies early, it's over. I, I mean, the idea is to live with her from literal birth to literal, like, dying as an elder, but you never know. It's the sims. Weird things happen. And I figured the best way to start this is in utero, so that's what we're going to do. Literally starting in utero with her mom on the toilet in utero. You know, like she just found out that she gave birth. I have a strong feeling that this is probably the thumbnail, my best guess. Uh, there's a few things. I gotta introduce the mom. I gotta introduce the other mom. It's two moms. House. The house itself should look familiar as it's a personal build one of mine. We're living in the 910 Medina Studios, of course. It's my favorite apartment. And I just renovated my single mom apartment which was a original series I have on here. I have this, like, I really like watching things that involve single parents and things. I also really enjoy, like, reading things about single parents. I'm not really sure what that means for me. The idea here is these two Sims, and I didn't realize that her seals were out, had just moved into this apartment. They just got out of college. They're adults, or they're about to be adults. They're not, they're a few days off. They just graduated from college. They lived their young adult lives in college and they were getting ready to start their careers and do what they want to do. And I'll, I'll, I'll even talk about what each Sim's aspirational stuff is. So we can talk about that. So you guys have an idea for them for the series as our main character. I'm not really sure. We're just going to go on this journey together. You know what I mean? I feel like we're going to add some pretty adult mods in here and just, we're just going to have a good time. It's going to be a time that's it but you walk in and one of them is a musician and one of them is very much into cooking they both went to foxberry it's not relevant as i don't have any macromelia i'll have to put some of that stuff up in between episodes as i kind of forgot and then it's kind of important talk about why there's so much like computer stuff this is a smart tv like a, i don't know if it's like a really smart tv Oh, and then there's bathroom. Obviously, this is not an apartment that you want to raise your first child in, and that's kind of the it's kind of the point. We have Jennifer Larson. They're just girlfriends, by the way. I don't know if they'll ever get married. I don't. I don't really know. They might. Uh, wink, wink. So this is Jennifer Larson. I love her. I'm like highly obsessed with her. Her outfits are very chic. Most of them are. They're also a bit more showier than her girlfriend's outfits as well. I don't really know why that is. It just happens to be what it happened. She's gorgeous. I adore. It took me a long time to get there. But right now she is under the chef career. She got a signing bonus and stuff. She's a level seven. And she's doing. She's doing good. Like she. It's not bad. You know. And that's what she's working under. For people who might not know this, if you're a level ten. Of of the career for the chefs you can start writing cookbooks it's like a it's like a little thing you get to do i don't even think you have, to have like a high writing skill i could be wrong about that don't hold me to it but if you give them for the professional trait it's a reward trait i don't know i'm um, completely renaissance and inspiration they can write skill books i'm literally going to show you this because i learned this the other day you can write scale books which are guide books like charisma or writing or snowboarding or gourmet cooking or whatever and so this is a workaround it's not the best it's not like you're writing a cookbook it doesn't look like a cookbook it's a little bit annoying uh i think it is a good workaround to doing it you can write a skill book on any skills that they're pretty proficient in these are all the skills that she can write a cookbook about because like she's pretty proficient in it we'll be doing some she's been writing some cookbooks as well she her main aspiration in life though is that a place i don't think it's in this district to be fair because the art studio is down here but over on the water so actually i don't even know if they want to live here for the long time 
But over in, I think it's the art district, the station district. The art district, there is a old warehouse, a broken down warehouse that she really wants to convert and save money up for to become a, like, a business owner. Um, she wants to be specifically someone who owns a restaurant. So that's like her main aspiration in life. And I'm going to be playing with it on the side. Like I said, our main character here is the baby. <laughs> Just makes me funny because the next episode is going to be all about playing with the baby. And it's The Sims 4. So that's why you laugh. This is London Han. I also love London. London went to school for music. She has an obsession with singing specifically, but she also likes the guitar and she plays a little bit of piano and stuff. You know how it goes. She also went there to become a professional, I guess, pianist at the moment to kind of become famous in singing but that's extremely hard to do in the sims 4 so she's just wanting to live her life and just do something with music and so yeah that's literally it their skills pretty much adjust to what they they're what they would go to for school and also a few random ones in there such as she has like a, a pretty little parenting skill because she took a parenting class same as seven dory culture and such she took a seven dory culture class so any of the outliers in here that you think that's a little bit weird it's because she took an extra class in college like an elective and the same thing goes for her girlfriend i figured she'd probably take like a gardening class and like a herbalism cast and stuff like that and she also is into bowling and so we'll have to go bowling maybe we'll get the little one into bowling when they're born that seems like a long enough intro for me we are going to just go ahead and hop into playing the game i'm going to update you i think as we get a little bit further because like she's just in utero and like the point here is to get birth uh part of the reason she actually is planning not to have a full-time job we're actually gonna be quitting this but they don't really have friends you know so i want some friends first then we'll quit our job i just realized there is something we can we can do um an important conversation to to be have had and that is the fact that she is pregnant so let's share the big news about her being pregnant you know see if they're they're both happy because this is not the ideal situation for them their apartment was kind of built for them and stuff and not really for like a baby she seems to be pretty happy with the idea let's see here yep she is happy with the news and things okay i'll probably see you guys when we're getting close to them giving birth when that happens you'll know this episode is by the way the introduction the birth of the character <laughs> birth to death you know okay we are in labor um actively like very much in labor we're doing cute things while in labor but we are in labor <laughs> we're going to go to have the baby at the hospital um we're going to join we're gonna take our girlfriend with us. It's gonna be a fun time. Actually, it could be a very glitchy time. You never really know with The Sims. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's horrible. They're doing okay with their jobs and stuff. Not important. I also thought to myself, would you guys wanna know what the traits are? I know, it's just decided it's not important. Moral of the story, it's just not important. Do I have a name picked out? No, I don't though. That's great. This possibly could be our person. We're also not playing the little Simsy save, fun fact. And so like, it is kind of throwing me off. I'm expecting to see some sudden, like I know very well because I know those Sims so well. And um, no, it's not happening because I, I don't know these Sims. It was a random save that I picked. I was like, oh, that could be kind of fun. Kind of cute. Like a moment. We check in. Can we do like a little check in? These two are in a row. Oh, oh, she's going to the restroom. Honey, your bladder does not matter in a moment like this. We are giving birth to baby right now. Totally is doctor. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that, that, that very much summed up with what I, what I thought was going to happen. And I, I cannot pass up that to be this this screenshot, can I? Was the baby born? And I just did not realize those nails, like, they stayed. And I was another thing I was not expecting. Good for her. Though. Oh, my gosh. Glitchy. Glitchy me glitch glitch. Okay. Like, they've not even pulled on my heart yet. Come on. Wow. I wanted to burst. It's good. Having a single baby. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see here. Amira. I don't like it. Brielle. No. Ruby. No. Mackenzie. No. Mindy. Han. I kind of like Mindy. All right. Uh, I, I, I want to pick up the baby for the first time. And that, my friend, will be the thumbnail. <laughs> we'll probably end it there as well. I do kind of wish that they kept their clothes that they have on. You know, like the gown. That was the word I was looking for. A whole bunch of photos. I'm going to say my stuff's white nails. Probably. You wouldn't be wrong. See, so like, she transferred back into her gown. I like gown photos with the baby. It's fine. That's the end of the first part. See how long this is. It could be, like, five minutes. It could be ten minutes. I don't know. I'm really excited for the series. I, like I said, I've had the series planned for, like, three months now. I don't know. It was similar to when that first video came out. I got a, like, whole spew of Sims ideas, and I took a long time off. So we're back, and I'm really excited, like I said, for the series. So if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't comment down below. Hit subscribe and I'll see you next time for another people video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.